Rain, hell, and high winds caused significant damage to trees, crops, downed power lines, and caused structural damage to homes, farm buildings, and healthcare facilities. Semi-trucks, vehicles, and campers were overturned, and some transportation routes were impassable. We had to close portions of Interstate 35 and 380, highways 218 and 69, as well as others. This morning, I had a farmer reach out to me to say that this was the worst wind damage to crops and farm buildings that he has ever seen across the state in such a wide area. Early estimates, and again, these are early estimates, are that 10 million crop acres have been impacted by the storms. Although it will take days or weeks to know the full scope of damage, initial reports are significant. We'll be doing damage assessments to determine the potential for requesting federal assistance. And a part of that federal assistance could be a Small Business Administration declaration or a U.S. Department of Agriculture secretarial designation, which provides resources for impacted farmers. So as we continue to gather information, as the governor said, it's very early, we'll be considering all those things and what programs that Iowa can apply for. And knowing the governor, she's going to take advantage of ever, every opportunity to get programs for Iowans. Joyce, is there anything that our farmers and Iowans can be doing, it, like taking pictures, logging, and just so they have that? Absolutely. You want to document, make sure you report damages to your local farm service agency is what we always recommend. So get your information to those folks, document. If you have any kind of crop insurance, check with your homeowner's insurance, your farm policy, make sure you're exploring every avenue where there might be resources available for you.